The remaining rubber after soaking the base of the synchronous vibrator and lacquer thinner for a few days. And as you can see, everything cleaned up really well. We've got uh, the vibrator there cleaned up as well. All new lead dress placed on. And everything adjusted best I could and the uh, contacts cleaned. So guys, I decided to go ahead and build a solid state replacement for the mechanical vibrator. It's working right now, but it seems to be intermittent in nature. And uh, there's also some arcing there. So I don't think it's uh, really going to last very long. I think the uh, best idea would be to replace it with a solid state. So after some breadboard design, a couple different builds uh, using three different techniques that I'll share in more detail, then we'll come back to the one that I chose to uh, make my final build and use in this receiver after I complete the uh, restoration. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Just a quick update on the Simplex BP. I've got the power supply section rebuilt and I just have some electrolytics uh, tacked in and before I go to all the trouble to uh, break this thing down and try to remove all the uh, many years of rust from the old uh, mice house, I decided to uh, just take a chance. I'm going to power this up. I've got a uh, synchronous vibrator circuit in place. I'll share more on that in just a bit. Looking at uh, DC voltage, so uh, let me uh, power this up. The dial lights right now are disconnected due to the uh, resistor here. It appears to be defective, so they will not light up. Let's uh, power this up over to the uh, left-hand side. Try to bring this back in. A uh, six volt battery, seven amp hour charged up. And you can see our B plus voltage climbing. And I think somewhere around uh, 138 to 140. So you can hear it is playing. So uh, that's a good sign, even with the old capacitors and resistors in place. So I'll probably uh, go ahead and move forward with the uh, remaining restoration. Try to get as much of the uh, rust and crud off the top of the chassis, then move forward with the uh, cabinet. Probably over the spring, unless I catch some good weather over the uh, late fall or early winter months. So very positive uh, results so far. Let me show you guys what I did for the synchronous vibrator. I'm going to flip the receiver around and I'll show you a preliminary view of the circuit that I used to bring this up. You probably already realize by now it's a solid state in lieu of the old mechanical vibrator because you don't hear the clicking noise in the background. So uh, let me get things disconnected, unpower the receiver, flip it around. I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. Again, you can see I've got the receiver powered up. For this old receiver to work well, it needs a good earth ground. I'm going to just use my electrical ground. So you can see it's uh, playing pretty good. I'll show the uh, loudspeaker in just a minute. That's another story. Here's my uh, new synchronous vibrator, solid state that I uh, built from scratch. A little uh, different circuit, uh, same principle uh, that many have used in the past. I'll share that. Again, the uh, tube shields are not on as well, so there's going to be all kinds of harmonics, and you can see just how gross the... Uh, chassis is. Spent some time blowing the uh, tuning condenser out just to remove the uh, shorts best I could. 
Anyway, it's uh, performing and playing, so that's a good sign. You can see the uh, step-up transformer for the synchronous vibrator. I've uh, rebuilt that and again just tacked some new electrolytics in on the uh, choke side of the receiver that's uh, being used. So um, I think I've got everything in uh, pretty good order on the B plus side. Now I just need to move my uh, focus to all the other uh, resistors that are out of tolerance and get the old caps out as well. Let me zoom in on the uh, vibrator and just change the uh, position of the camera. You can see this is where I cut the old can open to get the uh, mechanical synchronous vibrator out. And again, this thing is just uh, wore out. If you can see, I tried taking everything apart and adjusting things, but uh, just over the years, mechanically, it's uh, just kind of used up. So I don't want to take uh, any chances of uh, just finishing up the uh, restoration and not have it perform. So just a, a simple solid state uh, design. Okay, here's a little bit better look at the synchronous vibrator. Again, I was able to use that same uh, five pin base and I should be able to uh, put the cover back on when I'm done after uh, cleaning this up. Try to uh, preserve some of the uh, nomenclature that's on here with the patent number as well that I referenced in the uh, previous video. Anyway, the uh, design Instead of using a uh, multi-vibrator circuit, it is, but um, I'm actually using an Arduino, a uh, Arduino Nano, and I'm creating the square waves necessary, and I've got my uh, frequency set for uh, 100 hertz uh, that can be modified in the sketch itself. I'll share the schematic and my uh, details of the synchronous uh, vibrator in a future video. I just need to clean up my notes and uh, shop drawings before I uh, take the time, remove those from uh, paper and put them in a, a digital format that I can share with you guys. Anyway, thought I would uh, share that. Let me uh, down power the uh, receiver. I'll remove the uh, synchronous vibrator and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Arduino Nano to create the uh, square waves, again, uh, out of phase with each other, and the output through uh, two MOSFETs, and the uh, power supply and filtering uh, done here back inside just using a Zener diode as a voltage regulator, because I'm using the five volt input, just to ensure that I don't um, exceed the uh, five volt rating. I think I'm at uh, 5.1. Anyway, you can see the uh, simplistic design. I've actually got uh, three designs in total. I did a uh, first, a mechanical relay using Arduino. I'll uh, share that as well, very basic. Uh, not uh, a very pure way to do things, but uh, comes in handy just for doing some quick testing. And then I used a 555 timer with a uh, transistor to invert the uh, second signal and uh, also created a uh, circuit that works as well. And then thirdly, the one I'm sharing here, the Arduino uh, Nano. Uh, probably the simplest of the two. I'll share the uh, sketch in a uh, future video as well. Again, a cleaned up drawing with the uh, schematic that you guys can uh, replicate this yourself if you're interested or have a need to do so. In addition, I'll include some uh, snapshots off the old O-scope as well of the uh, square waves. Anyway, time to uh, move on now to the uh, time consuming part, just breaking everything down, removing the uh, years of rust left behind from the uh, mice itself. Appreciate you guys watching. Everyone out there, take care, stay well. Yeah, before I go, I thought I'd share the uh, loudspeaker issue as well. You can see I've got the uh, loudspeaker itself sitting on top of another cone 
The uh, cone itself is completely uh, deteriorated. So you can see what's left of the uh, cone. So I'll have to uh, reproduce a uh, cone or replace the uh, speaker. So you can see how I'm uh, replicating the sound. I'm just cheating here by using another cone that's larger sitting on a, uh, a base there, plastic base. Just to do some testing, so it kind of works in a pinch until I can get in here and uh, break the uh, thing down and try to put a new cone on. <laughs> 